welcome back on the previous video we ended up here which is where we're creating our beat products including the attributes and the variants which we have here so today what we're going to be doing will be taking this beat product which will make multiple of them and put them on a grid on the home page where a user can be able to see them and select which one they want so so the first thing we must do is to create multiple beats because we'll need more than one beat to see how the design will look like so i've already created more than one beat you can see as i'm gonna go to my products all products and you should see that now there's more than one beat on my page there we go one two three four if you want to shorten up the time that it takes to upload a beat you can just duplicate an already consisting beat and then you change the information to match the new beat let me show you how it is so you will see you will see on the product you're gonna have an option where it says duplicate click on duplicate so you see now it has made a new product based on the lotto type beat so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna change the name of this beat maybe i'll say it's a t grease type beat and then I'll change the picture here as well of course I'm gonna put T Grizzly set product image now you can see the pictures change and if you now scroll down to attributes you'll see that now all the attributes have been selected already you know if you don't see them just click on expand or close there's this button here expand close so remember previously on the previous product we had to enter this ourselves so now since we made a duplicate you don't need to enter this ourselves and even the variations as you can see they're already created with their prices all you have to do is just change the file links you know for the for the beat because now you're putting a different beat so yeah that's how it is when you duplicate it instead of starting it from scratch you save a lot of time so we're gonna publish this so now we have five beats so now we're gonna show all these beats on our home page so we're gonna use an external plugin for this which is gonna be a free plugin there's a video if you want to use the elementor pro plugin the video is up there but then if you want to use a free plugin the plugin we're gonna use is called premium add-ons just go to plugins so this plugin should be included when you're installing the elementary kit but if you don't have it just go to plugins and add new we're gonna search for premium add-ons type premium add-ons search there we go premium add-ons for elemental just activate it mine is already active as i said it comes with a theme now i'm gonna go back to my home page and see how my home page is looking like as you can see my home page now currently is looking like the previous uh beat that is a beat store and i want to remove this beat store and put in our own custom beat store so we're gonna click edit with elemental so we're gonna customize this page a little bit more because now we want to make it our custom beat store so here on the banner we would like to have the beats already here like latest beats since now we have control over our whole beat so i'll just remove this one here was that by just right click and delete and click there and delete as well okay cool so now we have it like this but now what i want to do is that i want to remove this beat store and put in our own custom beat store so i'm gonna delete this beat store as well okay now we have the licensing that's fine what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a heading all the way here to the top just drag it here you can see above licensing and then here you can just type latest beats okay cool latest beats okay you can change the styling and the size here either h3 or h2 we'll see which one looks better and now we're gonna add our products here under latest beats so just search for products and this product will only appear if you install the premium add-ons plugin so you see you find woo products click it and drag it under latest beats just under latest beats you drop it down there now you should just load up and then you can see here these are the options we have for now we'll currently go with skin number one and this is how it shows currently but we're gonna edit it so you can show properly because this is too huge 
so first thing that we're gonna do is change the uh, grid because now it's only showing three columns one need to show let's say four or five columns so that they can see more bits i go to grid and then select the columns okay we'll make it six columns and as you can see the pictures are not the same size so you'll see where it says we're gonna go back to general and where it says image we're just gonna say woocommerce thumbnail and they should all make them the same size okay great you can see now they're all the same size they're all in line and you can see this is loop this is a loop is not a beat so we want to only show beats and let's go to query because we, are, we only want to show beats here we don't want to show loops because this is a loop so we're gonna go to query then we're gonna select custom query and here it's gonna say select categories you're gonna choose our categories for beats so we're gonna show beats only and you'll see now the loop should disappear great now we're gonna click update okay great so far so good what we have to do is just to change the color for the button i'm gonna make it red because my website color is red so i'm gonna click on this red so i can copy this color and i think i'm gonna go to advanced background i'm gonna go to the color i'm gonna copy it i'm gonna go back to this product bit list we're gonna go to the style tab and we're gonna scroll down and look for button add to cut so we're gonna look for add to cut click on add to cut and scroll down we look for background background type classic background color we paste the red color there great now it looks nice it's matching with my website now what i have to do is to change the color for the price so it can be a bit more brighter so it's fine we're gonna close that and we're gonna scroll down to price and we're gonna see the color price color we're gonna click on it and make it let's say white and let's try and make it a bit bold okay and then let's make it bold okay great here's our bit grid right here so now what we have to do let's just uh, make some radius around these buttons so they don't look as sharp as they do right now so we're gonna go back to add to cart and you're gonna scroll down to border type you're gonna select solid and you're gonna go to border radius just click on the up arrow and it should start okay there we go now let's just make this text a bit smaller we say select options so you're gonna go back to add to cut typography we want to make the text just a bit smaller okay great once we're done then we're gonna click on update and now we're gonna also duplicate this and add more sections so there's latest beats and we're gonna make for top beats so just click this and click duplicate we're gonna go to the title as well and click duplicate again this click duplicate and we're gonna click this and drag it and drop it here and now this will be trending beats now let's click preview to see how it looks like this is how it looks now we can still edit a couple of more things the more you want it but i'm gonna edit it to the finest and you'll see the link in the description below of how it looks like and if you want to get it the link will be in the description below if you don't want to go through all this work you just want to press a button and install the theme the link is in the description below on the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a beat player on this beat so that the users can be able to preview the beats. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, just put in the comment section below and I'll definitely get back to you. And I'll see you guys on the next video. For now, I'm out. Peace.